Dysport, Abobotulinum toxin A. Dysport, Abobotulinum toxin A for injection is an acetylcholine release inhibitor and a neuromuscular blocking agent indicated for the temporary improvement in the appearance of moderate to severe glabellar lines associated with procerus and corrugator muscle activity in adult patients less than 65 years of age. Dysport blocks the release of acetylcholine, the principal neurotransmitter that causes muscles to contract. Let's take a closer look at what happens at the neuromuscular junction when making a frown. The nerve signal that causes a frown involves the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is stored within the nerve cell in structures called vesicles. In response to a nerve signal, the vesicles move to the nerve terminal, where they fuse with the cell membrane. The fusion is facilitated by attachment proteins called snare proteins, which are present on both the vesicles and the nerve terminal. The most important snare protein to our discussion of Dysport is SNAP25, which is located on the nerve terminal. The pairing of snare proteins causes the membranes to fuse, releasing acetylcholine into the synapse. As you can see, the interaction of snare proteins is critical to neurotransmission. Now let's take a look at how botulinum toxin type A works to prevent acetylcholine release. The toxin consists of two parts, a larger heavy chain and a smaller light chain, held together by two sulfur atoms called a disulfide bridge. Each chain plays a different role in the toxin's mechanism of action. The heavy chain serves to get the toxin into the cell. It binds to receptors on the nerve terminal, which initiates a process called endocytosis, whereby the cell engulfs the toxin. Conditions inside the cell cause the disulfide bond to break, and the light chain escapes into the cytoplasm within the cell. There, it cleaves SNAP25 by cutting it at a specific point in its protein sequence. As a result, vesicles cannot fuse with the nerve terminal and release the neurotransmitter. While the affected nerve terminals are permanently blocked, the clinical effect is not permanent. This is because new nerve terminals sprout and new synaptic contacts form nearby over the course of several months, restoring function.